So I broke my plateau. I broke it. I think increased water intake actually helped, which is, you know, ironic because I thought I was retaining water. But I think increased water intake actually helped. So shout out to whoever said that. I appreciate it. It was a good idea. Initially, when I read it, I was like, but I already drink like four liters to six liters of water a day. But then I thought about it. During this fast, I haven't been drinking as much water. Why? If you go back, even my last video or the video before that, I was taking some vitamins for the first time during this fast and I choked. The reason I choked was that my water wouldn't go down. Like during the beginning of my fast, every time I tried to intake water, any liquid, right? I'd have a hard time getting it down. Anything, pills, you know, these vitamins, any liquids, I had a hard time getting it down. I don't know what was going on, but now I can drink again a little bit better. I'm still kind of scared because I think I choked like two times when I was trying. So yeah, I wasn't intaking as much water as I usually do when I fast, but it wasn't intentional. It was just that I felt like my body was rejecting it. And lo and behold, it was rejecting that. And I wasn't dropping weight, but I was able to get some water down lately. I've also been drinking black tea, green tea, squeezing a little bit of lemon in it. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. That's a success. We figured out the failure, and now it's an experience. Yo, it's yo, success. yo, it's day 20. Day two zero. Man. Man, man, man. Day 20. Today, I'm at um, 262 pounds. And uh, yeah, the weight, is, the weight is dropping again. It's dropping again. I think we broke the plateau. Um, but honestly, if I was to plateau again, I don't even care anymore at this point. You know, you know what's crazy? Something that's really dope is that because I just went through that plateau thing, um, my mentality has changed, okay? My mentality has changed, okay? My mentality is now that... Um, I've already seen the worst, right? If we wanna just go off numbers and stuff, I've already seen the worst. Um, and because I've already seen the worst, and my personal pay can't get any worse than that. Plateauing for the first four days of my fast, plus another whole week during the fast, it can't get any worse than that to me. So with that being said, whatever, it's whatever. At the end of the day, my plan was 31 days. I'm on day 20. I got 11 days to go. I'm feeling good. During this whole fast, I felt good. I remember during my last fast, there were days I was feeling lousy, probably because I wasn't taking electrolytes. I haven't taken that much electrolytes during this fast, but I have been taking electrolytes, and um, I think that my electrolyte level is good. You know, I've been talking with... Um, uh, how do I explain it? I don't want to say I've been talking with my doctor per se, but I'll see my doctor's office. I want to get blood tests when I'm done with this fast. I kind of want to see where everything was done, where everything was at. And I'll probably be doing it after every fast going forward, every long fast going forward, every fast that's longer than two weeks. Um, the plan, the plan is that this is my second to last fast. But when I originally planned the gauntlet, I planned to fast until September. Being that I'm a mutable person, right? Sagittarius, I'm mutable. I changed my mind. Um, I have a changeable nature. I don't really know until the fast is over and until I eat what is really going to be. Enough of that. All right. So, yeah, I broke my plateau. I feel good. You know, when I look at myself, I'll be like, damn. Your boy's coming down. Your boy's coming down. Go look at my old videos. Go look at the old videos. Okay? Same guy. Just a different stature. Go look at my old videos. If you can't see the difference, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So the weight's coming down, and I'm happy about that. I'm actually happy about that. Sometimes I go to the bathroom, and as I walk past the mirror, I'm like, oh, shit, who that? You know what I mean? 
So, you know, day 20. I had a lot to talk about. I had a lot to talk about, but uh, I went out, I came back, and I forgot. That's just, that's just the honest to God truth. Um, I want to buy basketball. I want to buy basketball. I want to buy some things for fishing. I want to I want to take on recreation this this summer. I want to buy a bike. I haven't rode a bike since I was like young young teenager, preteen, you know. So yeah, it's, it's some things I want to do. This is a crazy idea, but I've been thinking about it, yo. I kind of want to be riding a bike to work. What do y'all think about that? Riding the bike to work. I kind of want to be riding the bike to work. I think it's good exercise as well as, I mean, do I really need to drive a car seven miles every day? That's one way, but do I really need to? Of course, if it's raining, I'll drive my car, you know what I'm saying? But I've been having car issues, funny car issues. Right now, I think my car is um, consuming gas, sorry, consuming oil when I drive at high RPM. So um, that's why I'm thinking about getting a bike. That's not why I'm thinking about getting a bike, sorry. But that's an, that's another advantage to getting a bike is I could be riding my bike to work. And I don't have to get just a plain bike. I could get two bikes. I could just get one bike that has a motor but also has a pedal. You know, there's so many different things, you know what I'm saying? I could get a moped. I could get a real freaking bike. I could get so many things, you know? But um, it's just food for thought. It's just something I've been thinking about. But um, man, I'm really happy. During this fast, I've been pretty. I've been having a good mood, you know. I've even been on social media during this fast. During a lot of fasts, I go off social media. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, people be saying negative shit for no reason. You know what I'm saying? People be like, "Oh, uh, this and oh that." You know what I'm saying? Like people don't really want. Uh, I shouldn't say it like that though, because I don't think people do it intentionally. But anytime someone's going through something, a life changing moment. Even if their progress is slow, even if you think their progress is fast, don't judge them. Just fucking support them. Otherwise, don't follow them. Leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of being on earth and telling people negative shit? Like, what's what's it going to accomplish? At the end of the day, we're all going to die. We're all going to go back into the earth just as we came out of it. So what's the point of negativity? Like, what's the point of it? You know what I'm saying? Negativity and evil already exist in life. So what's the point of spewing it out of your own body, out of your own mouth? You know what I'm saying? Just be positive. Support people. Cheerlead for them. If they don't ask for advice, don't give it to them. Let them be. Let people be. Life is all about flow. It's ups and downs. We learn from our mistakes and our experiences. <sighs> Usa. It's your boy, the American African. Day 20. We done. We done. We almost done three weeks. We only got like a week and a half to go. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I thank you guys for all your all your love, all your support, all your guidance. Whatever you got to say, say it. It's cool. We get through it together. You know what I'm saying? If you fasting, let me know how your fast is going. If you need any advice or you need any motivation, let me know. I got you. So like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, the American African. Peace. I just try to go to the sporting goods store to get some fishing supplies and a basketball and a maybe and look at some bikes, you know what I'm saying? And maybe look at some weight equipment because you see that corner right there? I'm thinking about putting like a little bench in there. But um it says it's open online. I get there, it's curbside pickup only. I don't feel like looking on my phone for all this sort of shit, you know what I mean? And plus, I like to try out stuff before I buy. I used to be an online shopper. I don't like online shopping anymore. I like to be there in person, try the stuff out, pick what I like, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to wait. We're going to wait until they really open them doors.